Here's a first look at the FTS LED series, which is a wireless transmitter. And it, this particular box uh, has two universes. So that's A and B. And if you want to connect your transmitter to uh, the receivers of the units you have working, you just click that and now it goes into linking mode the uh, blue button next to it. The boot mode is sort of like your on off switch in a sense. And if you needed to re reboot the system, then you'd hold that for 10 seconds until it has uh, quick blinking in purple and then hit it one more time and you're good to go. So here I have the one universe connected. You'll notice that uh, this particular box, if you wanted to put it up higher for better uh, transmission, you've got a quarter 20 on both ends. So easy to rig. And it's connected with blackout console uh, with USB-C. So this USB-C is coming in. Here's a little dongle that comes with your unit. So you can go in USB-C for that. And then there's an extra hole for power and then um, old style USBs as well. So there's no Wi-Fi signal to slow you down. You just keep them connected. That's a very firm link, which is great. Now you'll also notice that there's uh, ethernet coming out here. So this is DMX out. There's also ethernet. So if you wanna go to uh, you know other nodes and whatnot, uh, you can do that. But uh, here DMX is over PoE to a uh, hardwire five pin box. And you can configure these into different uh, universes through a, a, a web UI, but I just put them all onto universe one because that's mostly what I use. Two is kind of like my backup. And so uh, in this case, I have three units here, two Pavo Slims and a light panels Astra. So here, just to show you, I've got uh, uh, wireless. So here we'll put them at uh, 10%. Okay, so they're a warm and a cool Pavo Slim. And then if I add, and we'll just put them all together. So now we'll just put them all at 10. And now uh, we've got all units. Uh, I have control of all of them together, even though two are wireless and one is wired. Mm -hmm.